They haven't been elected, but a coyote showed up at Queen's Park this morning and took a stroll on the grounds. Coyotes are active year round and aren't a danger to humans, but can harm pets. Coyotes eat small mammals, birds and garbage. No word on whether this one was looking to speak to their MPP. <laughs> He's trying to get some uh, some work in before the stay at home order goes right. into place. Yeah. <laughs> kind of cool to spot one, but not cool if you have a pet around. It could be a little dangerous, no. right? Yeah. All right, exactly. Richard, uh, Richard Southern joins us once again, and uh, we're talking about some of the day's more interesting stories. Another stay at home order has been issued here in Ontario, Richard, and it's not just bad for us. Uh, speaking of pets, it could also be tough on our little furry friends. Yeah, just like me, Erica, dogs have packed on a few pounds during <laughs> quarantine. So there's a study out of the UK and it found that since the pandemic began, dogs have put on seven pounds on average. That's a lot of weight, Erica. Yeah, has can your, confirm. Has your dog yes, really? she has gained, she's gained weight. And when I brought her to the vet, uh, the vet described her as, and I quote, chunky. So <laughs> I've been working nice. on trying to get her to lose some weight, yeah. Oh, well, 33% of pet owners say it's because they're giving their dogs more treats during lockdown and a quarter say they're walking them less, so they're getting less exercise. So they're really putting on a few pounds, Erica. Yeah, I, I can forgive it, though. Um, yeah. With many things closed over the next month, this could be a good time to pick up a new hobby. I'm thinking, like, what are we going to do? Here we are now. We're stuck home again. And uh, Hello Magazine, the good people over at Hello, they did a report on New ideas to keep you busy when you're at home. Tell me what you think about these. Organizing your wardrobe. Does that sound like something you do, Eric? Yes. Uh, once in a while, I do do that. It gives me some sense of uh, uh, routine or something, yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Um, grow your cooking skills. I've done that. I've been using my Instant Pot a lot lately. That's good. Mm. Read a New York Times bestseller. That's a good idea. I have done that. Yeah. It's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, write a letter. I don't know when the last time I've written a letter to someone. <laughs> me <is>. neither. <laughs> uh, do a crossword or jigsaw puzzle. Not really my thing, but that could be fun, I guess, yeah. right? Make a photo album. You know, for me, Erica, I like old-fashioned TV. I like to watch my favorite show. You know, this is me watching my favorite <laughs> show, you know? <laughs> nice, yeah. Well, I, what? I PVR it. It's not weird to PVR it, is it? No, it's, not it's, it's at all. I thought you'd be sick of me, though, and you'd, you would no, want less never. of me when you're just at home. <laughs> what do you like to do, though, to keep yourself busy at home, Erica? You know what? I have been watching a lot of Netflix, but I want to get away from that. So actually, like, reading a New York Times bestseller seems like a great idea for me. Yeah. And just All have, right. like, a nice cup of tea or something. Sounds right. good. And finally, life has gotten back to normal in New Zealand, but people there are reflecting back on their time in the lockdown. Yeah, look, I mean, we all wish we weren't here. It's been a horrible thing. But uh, a, a new survey out of uh, New Zealand finds that people are seeing some positives to our, our current situation. Two thirds of New Zealanders believe there's a silver lining to the lockdown. Having more time to exercise, they say, is one of them. Taking up new hobbies, another. Building relationships with their neighbors. You know, I found myself talking you know, on the phone to people a lot more. Many people, Erica, as well in the survey, reported that kindness, kindness and, and uh, uh, helping behaviors became more common. They described an old-fashioned sense of community and yeah. caring that was not apparent before the pandemic. And that's true, don't you think? I think so. And you know what? That could be a really good exercise because I think this uh, this lockdown now is going to have a big impact on people's mental health. So maybe think about some of the, the silver linings. What are the positive things that you can uh, take away from this? And Eric Erica, we will get through it. There is yes. a light at the end of the tunnel. We will get through it together. Yes, let's stay positive and get through it together. All right, right uh, a great note to end on. Thanks, Richard, uh, for joining us, and we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.